In this training, I'm going to show you the high level automation that will help you scale up your Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube following without any paid ads, without having to pay to promote content, and without having to wait on the algorithm to deem you worthy and push your content for you. This is going to allow you to attract an audience of people who actually want to work with you. So that being said, our focus and intention is not going to be to go viral, but rather to make content that resonates with people who might want to work with us and then entice them to follow us using video lead magnets and inbound automations, which we're going to cover. But let me go ahead and stop yapping and let me share my screen and we will jump into it. So this is a quick screenshot after three months of using this model and I'm not even gonna go to the screenshot. Let's just pull up the actual YouTube. Actual YouTube, check this out. 8,400 views, 336 watch hours, 435 more subs. Why is this impressive? Let me show you. Last month, I didn't use this model. This month, I did. So let's look at the difference it made. This month, I'm up 7,300 more views than usual. Last month, I was between, uh, they, they say typical is 220 to 1,100. This month, 8,400. Typical for watch hours, 30 to 90. This month, 336. Typical for subscribers between 10 and 30. This month, 435. So these are things that are going to get me closer to monetizing my YouTube channel, which means my marketing efforts will actually make me money instead of costing me money like most businesses, right? So most businesses, they're paying between 10 and 50%, depending on the, the industry type, but they're spending 10 to 15% of their revenue on marketing. I will actually start making money with my marketing very, very soon using this model. Now, these stats aren't that impressive when you compare them to big YouTubers, but again, my channel is very niche down, which means the subscribers are very, very target rich. And not only are they target rich, but they're a list of leads. And in the time since starting my channel, using this model, my private community went from 40 members to 110 members. That means that my monthly recurring revenue from this program alone, not even the main business, almost tripled in three months. And that's with no ads, no promoted content, and no relying on the algorithm to deem me worthy enough to push and promote my content. Now, the automation that we're going to use is called ManyChat Junior. Why do I call it ManyChat Junior? Well, we could always use popular and really powerful software like ManyChat itself or even L Messenger Pro, which both have insane social media integrations and they have more advanced features than anything else, including the very platforms that they integrate with. But those softwares come with extra fees and even a variable pricing every single month. So that's why I'm going to show you a free alternative. And don't get me wrong, I'm still going to make content on those those platforms and those software because I love them so much and they're very powerful, but I want to show you a free option. And again, high level is $97 a month, regardless of how many contacts you put in the CRM. With ManyChat, it's going to increase. Now, L Messenger Pro, it's not as advanced. It has some other really cool tools. I think it's 67 a month. I think they have a higher plan, but that's more than just free, which you already have if you're already using high level. Again, so we're going to start with my high level ManyChat Junior Automation, which I'm going to show you in this training. Now, chronologically, you're going to build this after you create your video lead magnet. So to make ManyChat Junior work, you need to create a video lead magnet to promote. During the VLM or the video lead magnet, you want to advise and remind the audience that they can DM you to get access to your training. Sound familiar? So you would essentially say, add the video lead magnet, then you would make short form content and you basically say, hey, comment below. You put a story up, hey, DM me, you know, cold 13 and I'll send it over to you, you know, DM me offer one, two, three, whatever, and I'll send it to you, comment hashtag whatever, and I'll send it to you, right? Those are going to be your triggers that you're going to see. And if you want to know how do I build a video lead magnet, the training is linked in here. All you got to do is DM me, I'll give this to you 100% free. If you pop it open, you'll see not only at the very top is there another video link so that you can go through it at whatever speed, but you can see there's a full training. It's a nine page training on exactly how to build it up step by step. Like I said, I'm putting out more my free content is better than most people's paid content. That's my intention, right? And like I said, once you have your video lead magnet on YouTube, then you're promoting it using short form content. I covered on that training. I don't want to go too, too deep in it. And I essentially cover in another training how to use the short form content specifically to promote the long form content. So in this one training, you're going to get access to these two 100% free as well. Now, from there, you're going to need to set up your hybrid page. Now, what is a hybrid page? So it needs to be a business page in the settings. So it needs to be a business page so you can collect better analytics. And then your face becomes the profile picture. That's going to be important, not only because it's going to allow you to resonate with people much, much better, but you'll see where that comes into play in a little bit as well. Now, like I said, you create a Facebook page for your business, create an Instagram account for your business. You connect them using Meta Business Suite. Everything I'm showing you is free. Your profile picture should be your face, not a logo. And then you want to share personal content 20% of the time and business content 80% of the time. This is what I mean by a 
hybrid conjugate social media presence because it's going to allow you to resonate with people better. I don't want to follow somebody who's just spamming by my stuff 24 seven. I want to follow a personality or a brand. And again, you can review this training that I have linked in here, which shows you exactly how to turn your followers into clients for your digital agency. Like I said, I'm giving everything away 100% free because I want you guys to win. And then, like I said, when you win with this free stuff, I want you to say, hmm, what's in his paid stuff? Reach out to me. And then I want to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm not hiding my intentions. I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you grow your agency. Now, step two, you've got the Facebook page set up. What are we going to do? Well, now, let's say we're using Facebook page specifically. What you're going to do is you're going to set up your meta business suite with a comment to message action. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that in just a moment. Basically, the short and sweet version, create a comment to message automation using up to five hashtags with five different messages. You create a reply message, which tells them to reply with offer one, two, three, or whatever. And that essentially kickstarts the conversation within high level. So let me go ahead and pull up my Facebook page and I will show you exactly what I mean. All right. So once you're in your inbox, you're going to go up here to automation and click that. And then you're going to go up here to create automation and you're going to scroll down to comment to message and you're going to click edit automation. Now in here, or it'll say add for you, for me, it's edX, I already have it up. So what we're going to do here is you're going to say, Hey, when you comment hashtag cold on my page, then it's going to kickstart the automation and send them a message. So you would put, add your hashtag, put it in there, and then you would come down here and you would put, you would fill out your message. So for me, I have cold. And then if I come here, I can edit it. And so what I say is I put, yo, Alexander, which is me, saw you might be interested in getting my 19 page training on the highest converting cold DM course, just to confirm reply with cold one more time and I'll send it over. So what happens is when you put this hashtag on a Facebook post of mine, it's going to send this message you can see right here. Once I say, hey, reply cold one more time, then high level sees that you replied cold and it kickstarts the whole automation. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment. All I did here, by the way, is I put a little over message and then I like doing some kind of personality. So if you want to do that, if you want to put someone's name, you just type your message, click on these little three, I'll call them stars. And then you put, I just put first name of recipient. So that's exactly how I did it. And then go save changes and that's it. And you can do more. So I could have like, you know, hashtag, this could be like, you know, say so 14. And then I could scroll down and I could have a completely different automation right here. So you can have multiple automations. So now that we have this set up in the, the Facebook meta business suite, then we can go into high level. And now when we go into high level itself, what you're going to see is that we're going to have Instagram automations as well. Facebook is the only platform that's going to allow you that comment to message automation. So Instagram's not going to have that, but I'll show you what to do for Instagram as well. So now let's go into our actual high level automation. You can see I have a few here. You see, I call them many chat junior. Let's say you want to do, do a cold DM course, right? So let's pop this open. So this would be like your video lead magnet automation. And I'll zoom in on this so you can actually, uh, see it. So here we are. So your trigger is going to be customer replied, and then you can have it uh, you can have a filter like Facebook Messenger, or you can get rid of the filter and just say contains the phrase. So that way, if they DM you on Facebook or Instagram, you can have the same automation. I like to separate the two because, like I said, Facebook is the only one that has the comment to message automation. Instagram doesn't. So I have different flows for that, right? So on the Facebook side, I have reply channel, Facebook Messenger, contains phrase cold. Now, here's what's funny. If you want them to comment cold one, two, three, or, or offer one, two, three, whatever, I said, hey, send me cold. Like I said, hey, send me quotes cold one more time. So I had some people sending me just cold, but I had some people also sending me cold with the quotes. So I added that as a trigger, right? So kind of funny uh, if you're a nerd like me, but that's basically why I have the two triggers, one with, with and without the quotes. Now, the first message is I'll say, sweet, here's the link to the cold DM training. I remember for using the video lead magnet and you're housing these in a Google Drive, then you can just put the Google link here. Now that's what they wanted to get. So that's what I gave them immediately after I kickstart with the conversation, by the way, how's your agency going? And so again, this isn't me. This just feels very informal. And that's a, some, that's a great piece of advice I would give you. Keep your automation uh, messaging very informal. So it feels a little bit more authentic. You don't want to be like, good day, sir. Right? <laughs> just keep it very informal. Okay. So I have these two uh, automations. And then here's why I said to use a page or a business account and have your face as the profile. You can have an inbound notification via high level that notifies whoever your VA is. So for me, I handle my page because I like having that personal touch. But let's say you had a virtual assistant who was handling the inbound conversation. The lead sees your face, the VA gets notified, and they pick up the conversation in the high level centralized um, communication step, right? So basically, it kickstarts the conversation, and then there's a 30 minute wait. 
So let's say they don't reply for 30 minutes. You can make this five minutes. You can make it two hours, whatever you want. Let's say they do not reply. We're then going to have, or they do or don't reply. We then have an if else automation. So you just click plus if else. And then I have yes, no, and none. And uh, you can do yes or none. I just do yes, no, and none because I like to have a little bit more control over the automation and it gives me room to update things down the road. So I can do a yes, no, and no replies. You'll see in another automation. So after this, we're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to see if they did reply, then remove from workflow because at that point, my VA or I have picked up the conversation. If they didn't reply after 30 minutes, I'm going to hit them with the ultimate downsell. And we cover this in the trainings. So the ultimate downsell basically says, hey, if you get stuck on anything, let me know and I'll make content to help. Plus my offer has way more content or way more trainings. If you think the free stuff is good, you should see the private stuff, right? So basically it's a mini call to action to follow the social media and to investigate more offers. And you can see this is very, very simple. Very, very simple. This is Many Chat Junior number one. Let's go back. And then we could look at an Instagram uh, inbound. This would be the exact same thing uh, where you're basically saying, okay, they're coming in. However, the only difference is instead of me immediately sending that initial message, remember, Meta Business Suite is sending this message. So what I would do differently in Instagram is I would have the first message in Instagram saying, yo, saw you might be interested, reply with this one more time and I'll send it over, okay? Or I just might have some kind of an introductory message. Whereas with Facebook, you don't need that because Meta Business Suite picks that up. So as long as you have an intro, here's the offer you wanted to and a question to kickstart, you're golden. Now let's look at another automation, very, very similar, but this is one where I'm trying to build my YouTube following, okay? So the triggers are the exact same thing, where it could be contains phrase say so 14. Again, you see one with quotes, one without quotes. I don't know why that cracks me up, uh, but it does. And so what we're going to do here is the first question is going to say, hey, did you sub to my YouTube channel, right? And I put the link there. So if they didn't, they can sub. It's going to wait five minutes. And if they still replies, by the way, it goes sooner, but it's going to wait at the longest five minutes and you'll see why. So if they reply, we have an if else. And now here we have three routes. Yes, they did subscribe. No, they did not subscribe or they just did not reply. And what I've done with the yes, no, and no reply is I did intent type positive and I tested it out. So what will happen is somebody will say something like, it'll, uh, the automation will say, did you sub? And they'll say done or I subbed, right? Because it's a positive intent, it will take that as a yes. And then negative or no, like nah, no, not interested. That takes it as a negative one. And then it pushes back to the, you can see there's a go-to. It takes them right back up here waiting to see what they say. And you'll see so I'll go through each one individually. So let's say we go through the automation. I say, hey, just making sure, did you sub to the channel? Let's say they said yes. I say, sweet, here's the link right after kickstart the conversation. By the way, how's your high level agency going? Notify the lead internally, 30 minute delay. Did the contact reply? If yes, remove because I've picked up the conversation. If no, ultimate downsell. Hey, if you get stuck, let me know. Plus the training has way more stuff. Now. Let's go over here to no. Let's say I said, hey, did you sub to the channel? They say no. I say, okay, go sub first and then I'll send it over. And then it pushes them back up here. Wait, did they sub? Yes, give them the link. No, go sub first and no reply. It will then go over here, which says, let me know if you sub. If you do end up subbing, so let's say I said, hey, did you sub? They don't reply. After five minutes, it says, if you do end up subbing, let me know and I'll send it over. Then I wait an hour, up to an hour at most. Again, contact reply, you can see. I'm trying to open it up so you can copy it step by step. Condition, again, yes, no, or no reply. So if they say, yes, I did sub, then it goes over here. Yes, here's the link. How's your high-level agency going? Downsell. If they said, no, I didn't sub, then it goes back up here. Let me know if you do sub. Wait an hour. Did they sub? Yes, no, or no reply. And if they don't reply, then I basically just remove them from the workflow or what I could add, and I could do it right now. Let's say I wanted to copy this and I could put it right here. And so now I just put an ultimate downsell in. So if they don't reply, it just says, if you get stuck on anything, let me know and I'll make content to help. Plus this university has more, way more trainings. If you think the free stuff is good, you should see the private stuff. And I just save that, right? So there you go, that's the full automation. And we'll go ahead and save and exit. And then what I would recommend doing once you go to test it out, is I would recommend, or the way that I'd recommend you to go and test it out would be to take your personal profile or your personal Instagram and then DM the business profile or comment hashtag whatever on the business page for Facebook and play with the automation. And then the way you would want to do that, because the automation may restrict you from 
uh, jumping in and out of the automation is you would come over here. You would go to settings and you would click allow re uh, re-entry. That way you can continuously go in and test it. Cause the first time you do it, it may not be perfect. You may want to adjust it. You may want to uh, adjust the time things. And so I would basically just turn that on. Once you have it perfected, then I would essentially turn that off. Cause you don't want them to continuously go in several, several times and just, you know, use that automation. Right now, again, that's the, uh, Facebook uh, automation. And then you would set up your high level automation. I have a screenshot here, but again, the training is just so much better. But the flow looks like this for the YouTube, like we covered, did you subscribe? And then depending on what they do, you saw the different routes that it went, right? Now, here's some considerations that you may want to consider for your own ManyChat Junior automation. You may want to consider adding tags and opportunities to your workflow to move those leads into a pipeline or pipelines. You may want to consider who you want notified and how you want them notified of new leads. So for me, I like to handle that part. I just really enjoy it. But if you want to notify uh, your VAs, maybe after a while, if the VA doesn't pick up, maybe it notifies you, right? Some, something to that nature. You may want to consider integrating AI to pick up the conversation to a full close. So if you have an AI chatbot, you could easily integrate that here in these messages. You want to definitely consider different scripts between Instagram and Facebook. Since again, Instagram doesn't have that auto reply to comment message uh, feature. I already showed you how to do that. Basically just have a reply in the high level because Facebook, you can have a reply in Facebook, but with Instagram, it doesn't have it. So have your auto reply in high level versus the platform. And then again, test the process by DMing your pages from your personal accounts. Test it, test it, test it, test it, test it, test it, test it. And don't forget, please test it. Now, what are you going to do once you have it built out? Well, remember you have your video lead magnet. You have your uh, meta business suite automation if needed. And then from there, you already have your high level automation. So now you're going to go out and make content saying, Hey, on your Facebook business page, you're going to say, hey, comment X, Y, and Z, hashtag X, Y, Z, and I'll send it over to you. So let's go ahead and pull up uh, my product, my uh, personal page. Comment hashtag cold. And so if you comment hashtag cold, it kicks out the conversation. And then on Instagram, the Instagram side of things, what I would do is I would then make a story and just say, hey, if you want X, Y, Z, DM me, say so 14, and I'll send everything over, right? And then that would kickstart the entire conversation. So now I'm just making posts and comment and going from there. And what's cool is that post that I made had 78 comments, I had the most amount of comments of all my stuff because the automation came in and took over. So very, very cool. Not 100% as powerful as many chat would be by itself, but it is extremely, extremely powerful. Now, let's say that this content brought you a bunch of value and you're like, wow, this is awesome. I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you're just remotely interested. If you're not, go ahead and exit the video because I'm about to hit you with a pitch. If you're remotely interested in working with me without paying a single penny because you're going to be using the high-level software that you already need to scale your business with insane profit margins. If you join using my link, I email you right away. You're going to get a link to a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call with me. We're going to map out your exact high-level agency journey. Number two, you're going to get access to my full antithetical market claim and my $0 client acquisition model. And I'm going to hold your hand through this process in the one-on-one. -on -one, and then we have group calls to make sure that you have exactly what you need. And we have a private membership that is only limited to affiliates. So a lot of the scam affiliates, they have their group open and there's a bunch of spam and they don't reply. I reply to every single one of my posts to make sure that you need and know exactly what you need to know to make sure everything goes well. You're going to get access to free trainings released on a weekly basis. You're going to get access to a full list of private trainings, 100% included. You're going to learn how to streamline and automate your business using Six Sigma practices tailored to digital agencies. You're actually going to get the very first training you get is a full ClickUp training that shows you project management skills. So that way you can start pulling yourself out of the business and working less than two hours a day like I do. And we have local SEO trainings released monthly. Translation, I'm going to give you everything you need to make sure that you have no excuse to fail. The people who fail are the people who see a beautiful process and they decide I'm not going to do it. So again, if you're remotely interested in working with me, I will put a link below or you can DM me at Alex J. Roy. I will answer every single DM as fast as humanly possible. Otherwise, I will see you in the next training.